Ruto must go. That is our position. And those of us in Azmiu who have chosen to join this government, because now, uh, you know, even if they were trying to hide it, they have come out. We have seen them make very bold statements. Some are saying, oh, Ruto is not that bad now that he has given us a very good position in his government. And they are saying they are not going to fight this government because they are now part of this government. We are saying, we stand here before you, that we are not party to that. We will not join the Ruto government and we will stand with the people and remain the people's loyal opposition. That is our position that we have taken. We wish Omze uh, very well as uh, he goes to Addis Ababa because we can see uh, him building the momentum and uh, gaining ground. Uh, he's uh, been to several uh, countries and the support is growing. So we see him succeeding and we wish him to succeed. But as he goes forward, we must and we are going to tell Kenyans within this week, as we hold our as mere council meeting, that part of us who are going into government will be released to join them. And we will remain under the leadership of Stephen Kalonzo Musioka as Azmiu to fight for the people of Kenya. Why we must do that is because in any democracy, there must be the issue of accountability. Without a strong opposition, you will create a dictatorship. And that is what William Ruto is. He's not a Democrat. That's why he's cannibalizing the opposition. And that is why he's creating a tyranny of numbers. Once he has those numbers, you can see him again back on the rooftops, making more and more promises, more and more uh, lies are being told but also he is now threatening to bring back the finance bill he has made it clear that new taxes are coming back so fellow Kenyans we must not let our guard down we are not going to let our guard down and we are asking the Gen Z's not to give up we know that they are very very disillusioned by what has happened but it is no longer a Gen Z matter in fact we want to encourage the Gen Z to have a, a new approach that we are now a Gen Zote approach, an all hands on deck approach, so that all Kenyans come together to stop the taxes that are coming. Because with the numbers that have been gained now by the broad based Musumukate government, these taxes will go through parliament because parliament has been state captured. This is what we want to say we will not be party to. And uh, we are also very grateful to our judiciary because with a captured parliament with the tyranny of numbers that they now have with the new taxes that are coming the judiciary is the last line of defense just last week they had passed an amendment to increase the road maintenance levy increasing uh, fuel from uh, uh, 18 shillings to 25 shillings the court stopped that we have electricity tariffs going up. So we want to pray for our judiciary even today as we pray for Kenya, that the only remaining arm of government, the judiciary, that is our last line of defense, should not also be captured by the state as parliament has been captured. And for us as Azmiu, we will stand with the people. And we are here today in Mount Kenya to tell the people of Mount Kenya, we want to work together. And we want to thank the leadership of Mount Kenya, uh, the Honorable Kioni here, Baba, and all leaders from this region who are now saying they will stand with the rest of us to bring change in our country.